Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Smith and I'm the director of the Central Virginia Governor School for Science and Technology. And this video is to explain our scheduling template for fall 2020. Now this won't provide an individual schedule for a student and there are some details that we can't provide at this level of structure. However, I think this will be very valuable for our students and some of our parents in order to understand how we're, how we're going to offer this hybrid program for fall 2020. So let me share my screen and we'll begin. There we go. So I'm going to use a highlighter tool. We're gonna start at the top with some of the notes for this spreadsheet. Uh, please note there is a lecture week to the left and here you can see the lecture week title is in gray. And then if we scroll to the right, you'll see that the lab week title is in teal. So lecture to the left, lab week to the right. Please note that each division attends as noted under the day of the week. So this is Monday of lecture week and on site we have Amherst and Appomattox. And that will also be true on lab week. Divisions are on site the same day of the week each week. Um, you can also note that there are 25 students on site 12 juniors, 13 seniors from Amherst and Appomattox. You can also see the room numbers that we'll be using in the morning and the capacity of those rooms based on the CDC physical distancing guideline of six feet between any two people. So each division attends as noted under the day of the week. First period is red, second is green, third period is blue. Junior courses are shaded a lighter shade and senior courses a darker shade. So for first period, these are all the junior courses. And you knew that because you saw physics and you saw research. When these are our senior courses, you see anatomy and physiology and computer science, for example. Um, the next note, the number of students to the right of a course indicates the number on site. Now this is an important point. All of our students participate in our courses five days a week. Well, I should say, every day that we are scheduled. There are some days where we might have a holiday like Labor Day or Election Day, but if we're scheduled on the CVGS calendar, then students are participating in our program. It's a hybrid program though, so some of them are on site, the rest are online. And in most cases, they're gonna be working synchronously, which means at the same time. So the students online will log into the Zoom room and the students on site will also have the Zoom room open on their laptops. That way, we will connect the students online with the students on site in what we're calling community learning teams. So we're very excited about this idea that we can keep the students engaged if we can schedule in a synchronous way for most of our activities. So um, just looking at Monday, for example, um, you can see that we'd have calculus, Two students, two juniors, would be on site with Mrs. Shiflett, and the other students would be online. For research, in Ms. Coghill's room, three students and the others online. For physics, we'd have five students and others online, and then research with Mr. Steele, two and others online. Now note, the online is in bold, and this says as scheduled when on site, and what that means is, not all of our juniors will have physics first period. So um, some of our juniors will have physics second period. And some of our juniors will have physics third period. And so we want to be sure that uh, we're clear that an individual student schedule will vary. But this is the general scheduling template. And if you're scheduled for physics first period, then first period you're going to be doing physics whether you are on site or not except for Wednesdays. Well, why is Wednesday different? Well, notice that courses listed in bold have only an online presence at that time, and all of Wednesday is bold, which means all of Wednesday is online. And there are a couple of reasons for this. First, it helps us balance the amount of online access for each school division. Second, it allows us uh, Wednesday to be a deep cleaning day. We're gonna have deep cleaning on Wednesdays and also on Friday afternoons and Saturday mornings. So we're only ever going to have students on site for two consecutive days. And then we're gonna have a day where we can do a deeper cleaning. We will clean every day. 
But let's talk a little bit about what this online day looks like. And it does have a different schedule. We start in the morning at 7.30 for juniors. Again, the lighted lighter color shading. Um, I get to teach them all statistics, which I really enjoy. So they'll be with me at 7.30 and we'll all be online. Seniors will be in their science course. Then when we go to second period, if a junior is in math analysis, they'll go meet online with Mrs. Shiflet. And there'll be about 40 of those, we're guessing. We haven't finished all of the math scheduling yet. Now, if they're in calculus as a junior, then they would might have a research mentor meeting scheduled, and those research teachers will schedule those meetings with individual students. And if they don't, or in the time that they're not meeting, because those mentor meetings take somewhere between 10 and 30 minutes, in the time they're not meeting, they're going to complete their weekly math quiz during this block, second period. If you go down to third period, you'll see that now the calculus students are with Mrs. Shiflett, and we flip-flopped, and the math analysis students are in mentor meetings or completing their quiz. A similar structure holds true for the seniors. After they finish their science course, first period, some of them will go to math courses, the others will take their quiz, and then you'll flip-flop for third period. Let's move, and you can see that these days are, are very similar. The same thing is happening each day. It just varies in which students are on site, and then Wednesdays are different. So now let's move to the lab week. And the lab week is quite different, and it's different because we had this idea that having the same lab experience, the hands-on lab on site, was important for all the students. And we didn't want some students to get that experience and not others. And so on a given lab week, the science teachers are going to be repeating the same hands-on lab each day with a different group of students. Well, what this means is the students who are online need to be doing something else because they can't be participating with the lab because they're going to have that experience when they're on site that week. So let's take a look and see what that means. Again, first period, second period, third period, color-coded, lighter shading juniors, darker shading seniors, days of the week, the division that's attending, the number of students, all of that's the same. But what we have here, first period, on Monday, we're just gonna use Monday as our example, we have six students who are in research, six who are completing the hands-on on-site physics lab. What are the remaining juniors doing first period? Well, some of them will be online participating in research. The ones who are in calculus, and this is an important new notation, so we're paying attention to this, BC. That actually doesn't mean calculus BC, like the advanced placement calculus BC. It means Bedford and Campbell. Now, here's why this is important. Um, this is junior calculus taught by Mrs. Shifflett. We can't have Amherst and Appomattox um, being online in calculus, the ones that are enrolled in that course, because they're on site. So she's going to meet with Bedford Campbell here, and then on Tuesday, she's going to do the same lesson on Tuesday that she provided on Monday, but now she's got Amherst, Appomattox, and Lynchburg. Do you see? And so one lesson offered twice, divided by day rather than by period, which is the typical way we offer a lesson multiple times. We're just breaking it across two days to account for the fact that we have different students on site. And you're going to see the same idea in reverse. Now, this is Amherst, Appomattox, and Lynchburg on the day that Campbell is on site, and then Bedford and Campbell on the day that Lynchburg is on site. So we're going to get two additional math lessons for these calculus students in the junior year by doing this, uh, this structure that we provided. Now, if you go to second period, you see the exact same structure for math analysis students. Right? So once you've learned this idea, it carries forward through the rest of the scheduling, um, the scheduling structure. Now, what happens third period? Well, third period, we have physics lecture. And we have that Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That would be all of our juniors, the ones who are on site, broken into two different rooms. You can see that here, here, and here. And then all the students who are online and connected with the on-site students. On Friday, we actually have some time for research. So let's talk about seniors. On Monday, we have a and lab. There'll be six students on site. And notice they're the same first period and second period. 
Those are the same six students from Amherst and Appomattox. That's because the senior science labs are two periods long, two periods long. So they'll be on site doing their two period science lab, whether it's A and P or CS. And then third period while they're on site, they'll be completing their senior seminar course. And that's where we have the bridge project and some of our tech labs. So let's take a look at what the seniors are doing when they're not on site in their science lab. Similar to the juniors, you can see here that the students in Calc 2-3, well, half of them, are going to have their online session with Mr. Steele on Monday, and then the other half will have their session with him on Tuesday. If you go to second period, you can see the students who are in Calc 1 with Mr. Steele, half and half again, and then if you go down to third period, you can see the students who are in Calc 1, 2, and the students who are in Connections. Again, broken into two parts on Monday and Tuesday. So one lesson repeated across the two days. Again, Wednesday is fully online, and this structure is consistent from the lecture week to the lab week. So for the juniors, statistics, and then math analysis, and mentor meetings and math quizzes for those in calculus, and then calculus and mentor meetings and math quizzes for those in math analysis. For the seniors, there's science, and then Calc 1-2 will be in session while the other students have their math quiz, and then that is reversed for third period. So this is the overview of the schedule for all students. For any individual student, you're going to see some flex time where they can work on whatever it is they need to work on uh, most importantly at that time. And it could be for a junior, a research project, or it could be something in math or physics. For example, if we go with the juniors on Monday and we think about a student from Lynchburg City, the student from Lynchburg City is going to have research either first or second period but not both. And so for one of those periods, he or she would have been scheduled into physics, but will not be taking the physics lab. In addition, notice that the math course meetings are for Bedford and Campbell. They don't include Lynchburg. So one of these two periods is going to be flex time for the Lynchburg student. And that idea holds true for each division in its particular day when it has flex time. Now our seniors have a bit more flex time because they have the senior seminar course and that requires a fair amount of asynchronous work, work that is not done at the same time as other students. So let's imagine again that we're from Lynchburg but now we're a senior and we're not on site on Monday, so we're not gonna be in our science lab and we're not going to be in our math course meetings. That puts us with flex time for senior seminar, first, second, and in fact, third period, all three periods. Now, this is the only day of the week of any of the days of both weeks that we're going to have this much flex time. So what will we be doing on Tuesday? Now, on Tuesday, as you know, we have Bedford County on site. And we're from Lynchburg, so we're not on site. However, if we are in Calc 2-3, we'll have an online math meeting. You can see Amherst, Appomattox, and Lynchburg, first period. If we're in Calc 1, we'll have our meeting online, second period. And if we're in Calc 1-2 or Connections, we'll have our meeting, third period. So we'll have our online math meeting and then two flex time periods for senior seminar. And that same idea holds true for Thursday when Campbell County is on site. We will have our math course, whatever it is, in one of our three periods with flex time the other two periods. And what happens on Friday? Well, Friday, that's when we're on site all three periods. So that's the overview of our scheduling template for fall 2020. I wanna close simply by saying, I understand that this can be disappointing and that students were looking forward to having 
a full morning on site all five days. Uh, I know the faculty was really hoping that that could happen as well, but the pandemic doesn't allow that to happen with appropriate safety precautions. And the safety of our students and staff has to be the primary consideration. We can provide solid instruction for our courses online, in large part because we have wonderful students who are gonna make that easy for us to do because they are going to engage with us in our synchronous classes and watch the videos when they can't do that. So we're disappointed too that we've had to go with a hybrid model, but we are 100% confident this model is gonna work for our students and for our staff. And we're gonna have a marvelous time engaging in learning with our community of learners. If you have any questions or concerns about the schedule or about any specific details, please email me and be sure to read the documents that we have shared related to our fall 2020 reopening plan. All those documents are on our website and can be found at the link CVGS reopening plan fall 2020, which is tagged linked right underneath the main overview video on the main page of our website. Thank you very much.